Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. A wild last 24 hours for the USC Trojan fans. Ends in some massive news as Bear Alexander staying with this USC program heading into the 2024 season. And my biggest takeaway from the last 24 hours, specifically why Bear Alexander decided to stay with this USC team is the pull that Coach Henderson has. You hear the reports of why Bear Alexander is staying with USC after meeting with Lincoln Riley. Coach Henderson today and this morning, I mean, he says the development of Coach Henderson is worth much, much more than a little bump in my NIL heading into 2024. And you talk about why Georgia, why Alabama, why those programs can consistently land the top defensive linemen in the country. It's because of the proven track record that those programs have developing defensive linemen, putting them into the NFL draft. And I think the biggest takeaway if you're a USC fan is what if USC becomes known as that kind of program that if you're an elite defensive lineman, yes, NIL is nice. Getting picked in the top 10 is a little bit nicer. And if you can become that program, that elite defensive lineman can see as a developmental program that I'm going to get put out into the NFL, that is a massive, massive thing for the future of this USC program, especially in the Big Ten. Coach Henderson paying so many dividends. This was arguably one of the best hires that we saw in all of college football as a defensive line coach. Want to get into Bear Alexander, talk a little bit about what he brings to this defense and kind of where USC goes from here before we do. And as always, just want to say thank you to you guys. A massive shout out to the USC fans. The amount of support y'all have shown over the last couple of weeks as we've broken down these commitments, talked about this program. It means the world. I even got the USC commitment sweatshirt on right now, essentially Bear Alexander recommitting to USC. Cannot thank you guys enough for rocking with the fellas. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And without further ado, let's get into this one. And I want to start with kind of what we started with this morning where we had this conversation about how does USC go about replacing Bear Alexander on the defensive line. And the first thing I said was, you can't really replace a guy like Bear Alexander. I think the best avenue for USC to have gone through is, all right, we lose Bear Alexander. Maybe we can bring in a lot more depth on this defensive line, but make no mistake about it, you don't replace a guy like Bear Alexander. What excites me the most about Bear heading into 2023, it's really two things. One, he's going into year three of his college football career. That is normally where you see defensive linemen really take that next step. If you go back, I mean, He hadn't played much at Georgia coming into USC in 2023. You look at his performance in 2023, you saw the flashes of absolute dominance from Bear Alexander, an extreme game disruptor. The one thing we always wanted to talk about was got to see a little bit more consistency from him. I think going into year three, you're going to see that consistency. I think secondly, you inject one of, if not the best developer of defensive linemen in the game of football right now in Coach Henderson. I think that is a massive storyline. You have a guy in Bear Alexander, which, I mean, part of the reason why Bear Alexander is such an exciting player is we saw, we were very vocal that Bear Alexander was a very good football player for USC in 2023. The exciting part about Bear Alexander was I don't think he scratched the surface in terms of what he can be for this USC program. And so you look at Bear Alexander, going into year three in a better scheme where he's going to be put in different spots where he can impact the game and the development of Coach Henderson, you're looking at Bear Alexander potentially breaking out to be one of the more dominant defensive linemen in college football. And you take a look at what USC has on this defensive line. I mean, it was going to be a little bit concerning if Bear Alexander had left. And do we still want to see some depth added for this USC defensive line in the transfer portal? Absolutely. And we're going to talk about that. What I want to focus on right now is Bear Alexander and Isaiah Reichs on the inside is one of the more intriguing interior defensive line duos that you see in the country. We talked about it a lot last year. Bear Alexander had to deal with a lot of doubles, wasn't really put in that many spots where he could massively impact the game. And I think going into the 2024 season, you're going to see Bear not only get better as a football player, getting coached up by Coach Henderson going into year three, I think you're going to see Bear Alexander get put in more spots where he can really impact the football game, 
We talk about it all the time. Danton Lynn, one of the best attributes that he brings to USC is how he uses his personnel. And you have a guy like Isaiah Rakes who is not going to stuff the stat sheet. Right? This is a guy that's going to eat double teams. He's going to win at the point of attack, but he's not necessarily going to be a 10 sack a year guy. Now you look at Bear Alexander, he now has the opportunity to be a stat sheet stuffer. And that's fully what I expect from Bear Alexander heading into that 2024 year. Now we'll talk about it because I do think USC still needs to add some depth on that defensive line. And we talked about if Bear left, they could maybe use some of that NIL budget to really bolster up that depth. You're still going to see USC address that depth, but knowing that you have a game wrecker, a true NFL talent on that defensive line and Bear Alexander, it eases a lot of nerves of a lot of USC fans heading into 2024. Wanted to hop on, give you guys some of my thoughts on this Bear Alexander situation, what it means for this USC defense. We'll continue to talk about this as this situation plays out. Again, appreciate you guys rocking with the fellas. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys, and we'll talk to y'all later. Peace.